<laughs> you should have seen that match. Oh, that, ma that matchup was uh, pretty crazy just because of how, you know, when you get into that rhythm where someone is pretty much guessing right and you're guessing wrong. Every time? Every single time. <laughs> yeah, that, that just happened in like, I think like five, ex five exchanges in a row. <laughs> All right, we got Scythe Monster and Sukin. Oh, there's a little oh. lag uh, going on. Yeah, it looks like a, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a hold up here. Yeah, let's see what's going on with the stream. So uh, lots of lots of noise going on. Okay, oh, there <laughs> we go. We got the stream back. All right. <laughs> All right. So you have a uh, Sukin going for the wall pressure. Uh, oh, Scythe Monster using Kazuma. I had no idea he had a Kazumi. Oh, that was free. So on hit, <laughs> she has uh -huh. the point, and that was a free launcher. Oh my goodness. So, not a good idea to do that at the wall. Okay, mix up, fly mix up. Wow, backswing blow hit out of nowhere. So what's a what's the key thing for uh, some of the viewers at home? What's the key thing that you need to look out for when you're fighting Eliza? Because it, it looks like a lot of people are like not really familiar with uh, uh -huh. with this matchup, especially since like people are like, oh my gosh, I'm. I I'm a weep for using this character. You don't want to uh, use this. So, so I had what are you good, looking for? I had a good three hours against Sugen. Uh -huh. And uh, things I learned is like, let's say at range four, uh -huh. all she has is a low and a high. And oh, the okay. high is safe. The high is the launcher. Oh, okay. The high is a homing move. So what I, what I tend to do is if I see her do something that's not a movement, like an attack from that range, I always duck. <laughs> It works. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Because I mean, like, if the only useful things are just like high and low, then yeah, anything so, that beats out both options. Yeah. So I duck because um, that homing move is safe and it's a launcher. Mm. That's good to know. Yeah. There, what else is there? Um, she has a lot of something, something high string. Like she has a couple strings that end in high, mm. and they're actually. Pretty decent, like, it's delayable enough to the point where it looks like the string is done. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's um, kind of like, uh, it's kind of like fighting Josie. Yeah. Oh, also at the wall, like, it's a complete 50-50 guess. It's Ooh. pretty cheap. Like, both of the wall splat moves are unseeable. You just mm. have to guess. Oh, also, if you block the low at the wall, make sure you block mid right after, like, oh. low mid. <laughs> because if you block low and hold mm. down, you're still gonna get wall splatted. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, okay, well, now they don't have walls. You won't even see it. <laughs> that, All that, right. Now we, don't, now we don't get to explain it. All right, so uh, Suikin, with, uh, Suikin on the board with one match. Oh, okay, decent punish. On the get up hit. Oh, that was a, a launcher. Wow, a counter hit. So Sight Monster really using his side step effectively. He made, he made, he made Suikin whiff like about like three times on that one. That's the high move I was talking mm. about. So from that range, like it's good to throw that out since uh, you know it's safe. And a homing move. So what he what he likes to do is like throw out a fireball to okay. make you sidestep the fireball and then throw that move out as fast as he can. Oh because yeah. you're sidestepping and it's a homing move. Yeah it just really depends on the player's commitment if he's just gonna like uh, sidestep really quickly and then go into block. And then he could like he could duck after that then. Right. Gets a float. Oh, the backwards dive kick. So good. Good OP too. There it is. I see another Hadouk. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, wow. Is that a, is that a competing uh, Shoryuken? <laughs> that was an unblockable. So that string, you could, you could trade with a jab. Mm. But at the okay. same time, it's minus 13, but puts you full crouch. That string that puts you full crouch, 13 frames. So it looks like uh, in a neutral game, Sight Monster is having a little bit of trouble establishing uh, establishing a uh, pressure game. Right. So well, he can keeping a really good good amount of space between them, just so he can make sure that he's uh, avoiding right. everything. The thing is too, like Eliza's a, a not a Tekken character, uh -huh. so it's very <laughs> unconventional to, to create offense. Like she could just jump back instead of back dashing. Right. <laughs> it's pretty cheap. And then when she jumps back and you see you sees you press the button, like ex dive kick. No. Oh. So no no need for no need for emphasis on defensive movement at all when they're out. Uh, I guess not if you could jump back and it goes far. I know, right? Especially if you have meter. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of which, no meter. Oh, launch punishment. Good break. I see a four four three coming up. There it is. Oh, there, yeah, that's okay. that's exactly what you were talking about. Right. So it got crushed because Tiger up like it goes, yeah. goes under highs, but 
That was a good choice by Cyber Monster. So that, he did exactly what I said. He threw out a fireball and then four four three. Just trying to get, just trying to catch him on the side step and then safe, right? Right. He could uh, could he continue pressure after that? <laughs> it's two hits safe, but it jails. Oh, okay. So you do, you just have to like stay there and like w watch what she needs to do afterwards. Right. Nice. Only, I'm guessing it, I'm guessing she's only slightly negative at that point. Um, it's definitely safe, but I don't know how much negative to be honest. Final round. Wow, tying it up. Possible final round for a slug monster. Also, he's able to sneak in a mix up on that one. Uh, so he can closing in the gap, start starting to some sort of offense, but then oh, Ooh, nice power, power crush. crush. Oh, the running two? Oh, man, running two. Running oh, two is so good. Two? Establishing the low, that's why he got hit by the mid. Oh, that was EX dive kick. Oh, well, Sight Monster. Ooh, he, I was just about to say he was looking good. Got, super? got him into a combo. Oh, no super? Okay. Okay. Burns his meter. Yeah, and he still, ha he still has Rage Drive. Oh my god. That doesn't chip. Oh, oh just like I said. Up, like, all you need to do is jump just back. back <laughs> jump back. <laughs> you see a whiff, just do a dive kick. <laughs> Easy peasy. Easy squeezy, lemon peasy. So yeah, good showing by Sight Monster. He, like once he once he started getting into getting into Kazumi's offense, he was getting a lot of good solid hits. Yeah, it was just yeah. uh, it's impressive. Just that one in one instance where he just needed to cl close the uh, close the match right there. Just right. couldn't space the rage drive right. Got got that uh, got that back jump into the dive kick. I'm not mad at him. I mean, come on, how do you do, how do you try to hit a jump back? It, exactly. Tech and jump back. <laughs> okay, whatever. But this is like uh, a weird jump back. Yeah. You know what I mean? The Tekken jump back doesn't go very far, but yeah. I think Eliza's jump back goes yeah. double it, the distance. It's really, it, it's really a defensive, defensive mechanism at that point. Right. Oh, also, like at a 